Hello. I'm so awkward. I'm just gonna roll with it. So, my name is Nicole, and this is gonna be my first video on this channel. And I'm gonna, I saw one of my favorite, like, I don't know, like, a makeup guru, and she did February, like, hit and miss list. And I'm gonna do something kind of similar. This is all stuff that I've used in the last couple of months. So, yeah. And I'm just gonna, like, tell you, like, if I like them and what I like about them and if there's something I don't like about them. Um, yeah. Oh, like, subscribe. And comment down below if there's anything you want me to do. And I just want to say, before I get started, I am in no way, shape, or form a makeup master. I'm just doing this out of the benefit of every other human out there that just likes to put makeup on their face and can't do some full glam effect. So, yeah, we're going to get started now. Okay, so we're going to start off with primer. I'm, You know what? First of all. I went to grab my primer off my nightstand, and I, like, scraped a chunk of skin off of me. So, what is life? Anyways, so, I have been using this primer from Lancome, La Base Pro Hydra Glow, and it is, like, $40. I'm not gonna lie, it's really pricey, but I absolutely love this. I probably won't get it again until I go home for the summer, just because... I'm not working right now, so I don't really have the money to spend on an expensive primer. So, but this thing, like, this, I love, I love this stuff. Um, before my, like, my foundation was, like, separate and it looked disgusting. Um, it doesn't do this. It doesn't, it doesn't do this. It doesn't do that. But I'm almost out. <laughs> I'm really sad. Um. And then I tried this this morning, the Mario Badescu? Badescu? I don't know. Anyways, the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. And I don't recommend this as a primer. I use it as a setting spray, and it works really well. But I was like, you know what? I'll try it as a primer. Why not? Yellow. No, I don't suggest it. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on the ground since I finished that. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to like my eye stuff and the stuff that I use for my eyes. So I used to use the Urban Decay stuff that you know usually, I don't know, does it come with them? I don't think it comes with the palettes, but whatever. But you guys all probably know what I'm talking about. Um, but now I use the Ulta Beauty Tinted Eye Primer. And, so, you know, it's lasted me, like, four months, maybe six, I don't know. It was, like, a, came in one of those free gifts that you get from Ulta, and it's just, like, a rose gold tinted, like, it's just, like, rose gold. It's super pretty, and honestly, like, I don't think it really affects my makeup, in all honesty. Um... So these are two palettes that I use. I use the Dream Big palette by Tarte. The only bad thing I have to say about this palette is um, there's a lot of fallout. A lot, a lot of, a lot of fallout. Um, I really like this because I love the names. The This is an all-in, go for it, you can, happening, hustle, ambitious, and risk taker. I always like go in with ambitious first just because like just to have a clean slate and then I usually go in with this is a you can or risk taker just because those are like super mellow like they're not like in your face so I really like those um I have never used a black one in here like I don't do black on my eye at all um and then this one is a naked three palette I have had for probably two years now. No, I think maybe a full year. A full year. And my favorite shades are Limit, Burnout, and Dust in this palette. I've been going a little darker lately sometimes, like especially if I'm not gonna wear like eyeliner. And I'll usually go with the mugshot and just like over my eyelid. And 
y'all, I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen this. Like, like you guys have all seen this palette. So, yeah. Okay. Now, on to eyeliners that I use. Oh, that's that's a brow pencil. It's okay. Okay. So I use the Ulta Automatic Eyeliner. I have been obsessed with black lately, and honestly, for the longest time, like summer and fall I used onyx like all the time so onyx is just black with like some glitter I'm almost out of it and I don't know why I just like stopped using it but I did who the heck is text messaging me oh my hand I'll reply later okay so yeah black and onyx are my two absolute favorites um going to this is gonna be a fun part Going to mascaras. So I was using this in the end of summer, beginning of fall, all the way until I came here to college. Um, this stuff, the Tarte Tardiest Lash Paint, literally lasts forever. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll like. Probably not. Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> um, I love this. I it flaked a little bit, not a lot, but you know. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but like, I really liked the brush too. It just, it made my eyelashes like super nice. I recommend this honestly, like I like this stuff. Um, this one that I, I didn't even finish using it, I just have it just in case like I run out of any mascara. The Tarte Lights Camera Flashes by Tarte, I, I just feel like it didn't like do anything, I just, my eyelashes, like, I curl my eyelashes, so my eyelashes wouldn't stay curled, and I was like, they just kind of, like, flatten, and I was like, oh, okay, like, I don't like that, so, garbage. And let me just say, those two mascaras were, like, $20 to $23 each. I found the L'Oreal, the, the Voluminous Lash Paradise. I just have mine in the shade Black. I think I'm going to get, like, blackest black next time just because, like, I like him better. I like this. It's whatever. Anyways, so this stuff. I bet you guys have, like, all seen it. Who knows? I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> okay, anyways. This stuff does not, like, does not, like, it is beautiful. It keeps my eyelashes curled. It, it's so, like, lightweight. And I, I, with that stuff, I used to, like, pick out my eyelashes just because they felt so heavy. And, you know, this stuff is my savior. And I'm a college student, so $10, $11 for mascara? I'll take that over $20 any day. Okay. I'm just like, my all my makeup is in a pile on the ground now. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, for my eyebrows, I didn't do my eyebrows this morning because I woke up late. But I usually use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe. Top it? Taupe? I'm gonna say taupe. Um, I really like this. I like that it's thin. I can just kind of like... And then I just like blend it out with this brush and it looks super nice. Love it. Um, noth nothing bad about this. I use this every day. Except for when I woke up 10 minutes before I have to leave. Um, I think that's all I have for my eyeballs. Okay, so lastly I'm just going to go over some of my lip stuff and then the one blush that I use. So, I use Deep Throat by NARS. Um, I got a sample of this from Ulta and I was like, oh my god. Except for, fun fact, it wasn't the Deep Throat, it was the Orgasm one. And I really wanted that, but my local store at the time didn't have it, so I was like, you know, I just, like, I just, just give me the next closest shade. So I have the shade Or... Deep Throat. So that's the shade Deep Throat, and it's just like, I don't put a lot on because it can, it's so pigmented. Like, NARS is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brand. So I just put a little bit of that on, on there. So right now, I'm wearing the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint. I got a little sample of that. I have no idea what color it is, and honestly, like, I don't know if it's because I've had it for probably, like, five, six months, but it's kind of like dries my lips out. So I don't know if I would try another one of these. I know it's supposed to be matte, but like, 
I had to put lip gloss over it because I was like, my lips, they're gonna, they're gonna shrivel up. So the one I put over is the matte metallic liquid lipstick in the shade Sassy. It's by Ulta Beauty. So I really like this. Like, I don't wear like just every day. I just wear chapstick every day. Not gonna lie. So. I mean, but I definitely, like, if I have the right outfit, like, I will wear this. And it, it feels so nice and it stays on for so long. And so, then there's this Ulta Beauty Metallic Lipstick in the shade Undivided Attention. Which I love Undivided Attention. Anyways, it has, like, a little bit of sparkles in it. It's red. I love it. 10 out of 10. Recommend. I, I only really wear this when I go out where I'm dressed, like, super nice and, like, the red goes with everything. So, you know. Oh, I lied. My lips weren't the last thing. Not my setting sprays. Huh. Okay. So, I only, like you can hear, I only have a little bit of this left. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's like $32 at Ulta, which is kind of expensive, but this stuff lasted quite a long time. And I use, I overuse it. Let's be real here. Um, but I didn't want to pay $30 again, because, again, a college student, and so I bought the Mario Badescu, Badescu, oh, I give up, okay, the rose water one, um, $14 for the big one, or $7 for the little one, I was like, the big one, so, yeah, so I have those two as setting sprays, I use this one every day, and only use the other one if I'm going out to some, like, event where I need to look semi-decent. So, yeah.